What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We are playing Slash, the game that is romance without boundaries. We are going to be pairing up fictional characters, and they are going to bang right in front of our eyes. Woo! Oh, Let's get it! So are you ready? <laughs> and today we're going to play to 10 points. So I'm going to go first. I am the first matchmaker. So I'm going to give you guys the character, and then we'll go down the line, and you'll be like, I pitch yes. this person. OK. OK. Got you, cool. Oh boy. OK, OK, OK. This is Martha Washington, historical figure, number one first lady of the USA, 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 owner of over 100 slaves. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. No. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Can I just start out? Do, do we need time to pick? I already have one. Oh, wow. <laughs> go, go have for it, girl. One. You start us up, please. Okay, yeah, All right, so I'm going to pitch another first lady, Michelle Obama. <laughs> wow. Lovely first lady, no owner way. of the best arms in politics, can Dougie like nobody's business. <laughs> so this is how we change Martha's story around. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, black oh, savior. Man. There's okay. usually a white savior movie. <laughs> this is a black savior. She's going to come and she's going to hold her down. Mm. You know what I mean? It's going to be the first, like, uh, the uh, lesbian couple. Ooh. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's hot. Yeah, keep that, keep, I'm going to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah, but it's yeah, just like, yeah. if Michelle Obama's going to come from a good place, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Right. Like, who, mm. who better? Then what 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 you said, read the, read the card again. Owner of a hundred slaves. Yes, I feel like Michelle Obama could fix that. <laughs> all right, all right. She's okay. gonna fix it. She's she gonna fix it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Martha and Michelle, that does sound really nice. Anybody else ready? <laughs> Uh, I feel like I got them stumped. <laughs> yes. I'm that like Michelle hard. Obama. It makes yeah. sense. First lady for a first lady. That's a first lady square. I think yeah. that's the that's first round then. For, <laughs> for multiple reasons, as a straight white man, I'm sitting here being like, that's correct, you're right. Honestly, <laughs> 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 Trump card. We're Martha Washington. <laughs> Hellboy. Big red punches a lot of people in the face. <laughs> Here's what it is. Here's what it is. She's used to hell. She's in hell in, in New America. Yep. Yes. In New America. Oh. She's going through it. She needs somebody who's gonna win against the British. All right, so a lot of people don't know this about George Washington because we all see him painted with the like little judge ruffles or whatever he's got. Right. He was a redhead and he was also tall as hell. Now, really? sometimes, that is a fact that I heard on the internet that I didn't bother to corroborate. <laughs> so, now yes, my favorite kind. I'm Take just it. gonna pass it along as <laughs> fact. But sometimes, gosh, Martha Washington's so busy and her hips hurt and she's getting up there in age. You don't need a 6'5 redhead. You need a much shorter redhead. I pitched to you Gimli, dwarf, <laughs> wow. comic okay. relief. He's also beefy. He's also strong enough to lift her and do whatever bedroom activity she wants. Oh, oh but wow. he has all of his teeth <laughs> and his axe. Wow. Okay. okay. Some I comic like relief. I like it. Oh yeah, dwarf comic relief. Okay. <clears throat> she'll be all, she'll be all like, oh man, you made me feel really good in the bedroom over a hundred times, and he'll be like, still only counts as one. And she's like, oh, okay, oh. all right. Keep going. Wow. Nice, nice. Nerd alert. <laughs> Nerd alert. Well, guess what? Hey, hey. The better, better character. Get ready for if this. It's Legolas, I swear oh, to God. Oh. I you. Banana man. <laughs> This what? is banana-themed superhero <laughs> in the VFCU, the Various Fruits Cinematic Universe. <gasps> Banana Man has extensive lore as a kind and caring man who puts the women in his life first. And and he, because he's got that banana on him. Oh, um, oh wow. And here's the thing. Wow. And he's just <laughs> such a fun guy to be around because he's always dressed as a banana. And, you know, once you really peel back those layers oh, and get, oh, get to the, the meat underneath, <laughs> you, you know. really just find a deep partner and someone that you can really, you know, connect with and spend your life with. Oh, so, my God. Banana yeah. man. You know. Y'all, he said oh. peeled that that was good. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. But I will say, he's, he said that Banana Man has the banana, right? Uh -huh. But only a woman knows what a woman needs. Whoa. Oh, wow. He came full circle yeah, yeah. the first lady. Yeah, yeah. And Michelle Obama did fix all those kids' lunches. <laughs> yeah. You know, guys, I, I really want what's best for the two of these people in the relationship. And I, you're right. I feel like the first ladies, could they could teach each yeah. other mm -hmm. a little something. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's put these ladies together. Let's go. go. Cue, cue the animation nice. of them banging. So Michelle Obama is two points and Martha Washington is two points. You were at four What the points. hell? Oh, Y'all yeah. gotta catch up. That's catch up, no crazy. I think Keith okay. should be the next matchmaker yeah, yeah, yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helen Keller, 
<laughs> he deaf, blind, but not dumb. Take your time, take your time. Wait, she can't, she can't wait. She can't hear and she can't see. Yeah. I'm I'm ready to go. I don't Are know you about, ready? I think I'm ready to go. All right, man, pitch to it go. to me. All right. <clears throat> Today for you, for the perfect match for Helen Keller, we have Chun-Li, female oh. Chinese martial artist, <laughs> super cop with thighs of steel, kicks really, really fast. Because here's the thing, Helen Keller, deaf and blind, but very smart. <laughs> And Helen Keller needs someone who can protect her. And that's why Chun-Li yeah. is perfect. Because you've got the brains and then you've got the muscle. And together as Ooh. one, coming together, they can take on any adversary. That's really they good. Will. And Chun-Li's thighs, I mean, wowie zowie. Yeah, yeah. Helen Keller, you know, needs some strong thighs is what I've heard. I think that's... <laughs> She a, can walk. Book that, well, no. no, we didn't say she can walk. <laughs> Not thighs for that, okay? <laughs> Pretty sure it was in a book she wrote that she was like, I just really need some strong woman thighs in my life. Uh, that's a direct quote. Chen Li. Can y'all search for that? Because like, yeah, we don't have fact check. Fact check we don't have the budget for fact checking. Okay, okay. No. I have to believe Not with it. all the animation we're gonna <laughs> do. Well, hey, listen, thinking is this, speaking of uh, whatever Trevor said, um, <laughs> I thighs, present the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh, okay. Green yeah. of skin and black of heart, she has an army of flying monkeys, mm -hmm. doesn't care for water, and can defy gravity. Mm -hmm. All right, look. But how does that help Helen? I so, think so tell us. Helen. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you got to help both parties involved. The Wicked Witch of the West, she has trouble finding love because she's green of skin. Helen Keller, she can't see that, so she doesn't care. So they are going to be a perfect match. The Wicked Witch can also defy gravity, and Helen Keller needs that. Why does Why? she need that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> she can't. She needs. Like, what's she gonna do? In she got too she... many limits on her already. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. You have her whirling in the air. She needs, she needs, she needs an extra superpower that other people around don't have. But I feel like that's dangerous, her being in the air with not... Like, she's going to be protected. She's got less obstacles. I, she knows, she's not going to fall. Yeah. She can't fall anymore. Well, Gravity is no longer there. No, no, no. I'm going to say, like, I don't think I'm supposed to argue against you, but I also don't think her being blind and deaf, she should lose all sense <laughs> Yes, in, she in should. You guys, there's a vision. <laughs> there's a vision. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vision. I want Not you to picture them, so, them right next to okay. each other. Okay. Picture that for a second. Don't they look all cute? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a really good picture. We'll move on to Damien. That's fine. That Ad Adele Dazim will come back. Thank you very much, Keith. And may I just say, you're great. Um, so my card is a lot like Arasha's, but better. Um, I will be pitching from Greek mythology, Medusa, the Aye. stone cold fox. Oh. Snakes for hair and a look that can and does kill. Now, Helen Keller would not be able to see Medusa, so they'd That's be able to connect. That's really good, Damien. Thank you, Chant. I appreciate you. And may I just say, you're great. Um, so they would be able yeah, to connect like in a way too, for Damien. each other. Thank you, Arasha. Uh, for, um, also a fan. Appreciate you, Trevor. Uh, so they'd be able to connect in a way that uh, others would not be able to with them. They're kind of a perfect match for that. Mm. And so I do want to say, uh, if you watched The Miracle Worker, Helen Keller learned how to speak with uh, sign language into the palm, and the first word was water, at least in the movie. <laughs> so the, the thing about Medusa is using all these different snakes. If you imagine sign language like, yes, you get that one point on your hand, oh, wow. but what if it was all over the body? You could mm. almost like harmonize in a way. I mean, we're talking about communication that Helen Keller would not even be able to get Okay, Damien, look, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're, we're gonna make music. That was there we go, good. that's a Got it, here. really good job. Good pitch, understood everything. Thank you. Okay, that was really good, Damien. <laughs> Unfortunately, you. I got one better, Bumblebee. <laughs> okay. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> Bumblebee from Transformers, he don't know how to talk. He <laughs> communicates, he can overcome communication issues, Ooh. and oh, he can wow. drive her around. She ain't gotta drive, she ain't gotta see the road. That's so cute. She can feel the vibrations of his music when he changes oh. the songs. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's all. But can she defy gravity? Question. Yes. <laughs> Which of these characters has been in Fortnite? Point of order. Uh, it, given the <laughs> zero point event, I think any of these characters can and or will be in Fortnite. Whoa, the singularity. Uh, I think everyone did a great job pitching. Um, 
Yes, 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 but you, my friend. <gasps> like the fact that Bumblebee will be able to come and pick her up in his ride. Right. He'll, she'll Pull feel up. the vibrations of right. his boom boom and his pound pound. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of that, that's really, really good. He can't speak, no. hey, she can't either. No. So I just feel like it's a match made in heaven. Wow. But she will feel all his energy through the boom boom and the pound pound. Damn. So I'm gonna give you the card. Wow. Let me give you the card. Oh, you had a good yeah, pitch. Really good. That was good. That was one point. Yeah, you still gotta catch up. Oh my god, I'm so excited to pick a card. Okay. Where are we, we go. gonna know you? Okay, this person, I don't want them to get married to. I want the best person for them to learn their lesson from. Oh, the wow. ex that really taught you things that you needed to know. Okay? Oh, and the my character god. is. Frozone from The Incredibles. <laughs> so he Boys. needs to Ooh. learn a lesson. He needs to learn a lesson, and this person, he's gonna date, and it's gonna teach him the lesson. He's gonna be like, I've learned my lesson. Chance, Ooh. I have such a strong pitch for this. Okay. I would really love to go first, if I may. Sure, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. By all means. Uh, now, everybody knows Frozone. He's got those ice powers. He yeah. needs those su the super suit. He's in a position of being in crisis, you know, when we see him in The Incredibles. And he is pretty frustrated in the way he speaks to his partner, like, where is my super suit? Like, he's not happy, and I get he's frustrated, yeah. yada, yada. Sometimes the person you need to put you in your place is a queen, an ice queen. Wow. The White Witch. Whoa. The Ooh. queen of all ice in the land of <laughs> Narnia. She would be somebody that, like, they would learn from each other. He'd be like, I believe this, and she would be like, mm -mm, no. And they, they would butt heads at first, and then they would learn to balance their powers. Yeah. Mm. And they would learn ice things together. She's not super mobile. She's more like in a chariot, and he's always running around. And I think they would learn from each other that just because we're both ice people doesn't mean we're supposed to be together. Yeah. Exactly. We're both yeah. ice people. We're supposed to, we're, you have the ice power suit. It's good on bitch. paper. Right. No, Sometimes bitch. it's good on paper, and you're yeah. like, you're great, and you're gonna make someone so happy. Yep. Mm. But she has Turkish delights, and he doesn't even like those, he canonically. Like uh, I think the witch might be of too much grace for Frozone. I think he mm. needs to learn uh, a bit more of a striking lesson. Okay. I think I think he might be able to do that with somebody smarter, somebody <gasps> sassier, oh. somebody able to chop a man's windpipe with great skill. I'm giving you Batgirl. <gasps> oh. oh. Wait, that's a hot couple. She's hot, she's quick, she's gonna teach him <laughs> that lesson that he needs to learn, and then she's gonna walk away. Oh, wow. and wow. maybe she has like some kind of trauma with Mr. Freeze, and Ooh, she's yeah. like going after oh, yeah. because of him. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm in it. Like your cards are great, but I got a good one. Oh my god! All right, go on. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, if you really want Frozone to learn something, I think who better to learn from? than Alex Trebek, host of Jeopardy. Wow. <laughs> the man who has all of the answers. I mean, a wealth of knowledge. If there is anything that Frozone <laughs> needs to learn, Alex Trebek yeah. has the answer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what yeah. more to say. Yeah. If you're looking for someone <laughs> yeah, to learn from, yeah. there's no one better. Absolutely. That's, and that's Alex why he Trebek. doesn't get his answer, because he didn't ask, what is my super suit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, look. Oh, very true. Look. Huge. That's so dumb. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> always, he's always asking for like a super suit, right? Where's his super suit? Who better to help than Velma Dinkley? <gasps> who's always Where are my got the glasses? glasses? Where are my She's glasses? looking for them, And no. she always finds them, y'all. Okay. <laughs> always finds her glasses. <laughs> she? Who better? She's a detective, orange color, <laughs> turtleneck, and scoping out clues. Oh, she's gonna find that super suit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is her bag. That's what it says. Wow. That's okay, crazy. I'm eliminating it live. <laughs> eliminating it live. Batgirl's out. Uh, Alex Trebek what? is out. Oh, I have Velma yes, and White Witch left. Oh, no Here's what way. we're doing. Come on, come what on. We're doing. Come on. Damn, 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 it's White Witch. Oh, I'll tell you why. I will what? tell you why. I will tell you why. I'll tell you why. Just because they look good together? Because Kissy White. I think <laughs> this, if it were the regular thing, <laughs> if I like this couple, I like Velma and Frozone as an uh, actual couple. Like, like I you like them seeing them. So you want end. Game. Especially with their outfits. He wears that turtleneck too, that white turtleneck. Mm. Chance, that is superficial. He needs his super suit. Mm. <laughs> What's Think wrong with that Alex That is so Trebek. surface. Like, I'm gonna take my points I'm gonna first. Go ahead and What's take wrong these. with Alex Trebek? <laughs> that is surface. He, he needs his super suit. She needs her glasses. She <laughs> needs her glasses. <laughs> I want them to end the up. The entire time I was like, Whatever. okay, I'll give you that. They were oh. each two points and I thank you so much. Oh shit. I agree, <laughs> they would have been a power couple. It would have been too much. Thank you. <laughs> Velma would have made it last. Here's what we're gonna do here. We're not looking for necessarily the most love situation. We are looking for power couple for this one. Oh! 
one I want you to match make with okay. is Cleopatra, you Whoa. know, from ancient Egypt. Wow. Stunningly beautiful queen of ancient Egypt, invented eyeliner, killed herself via a snake via booby bite, uh, via snake booby bite. Didn't know that one, didn't know that one, didn't read she ahead. She killed herself via snake booby bite? I also <laughs> question that she invented eyeliner. All right, so Cleopatra. Cleopatra's here, um, and we're looking for like a good political alliance. Doesn't have to be political. It's oh, like modern day, it could be like you know power couple, but like who's going to have the strongest coupling? Oh my mm. God, you're talking about strong. I just want to get down to the nitty gritty right here. Please. You said strongest I, coupling. I'm gonna say Hercules, the strongest man to ooh, ever ooh. exist. You feel chills. me? Like think about it. The son of Zeus, you know, bare chested demigod with super strength mm -hmm. and awesome shoulder length hair. You know what I mean? I mean, she like came up with the eyeliner. Mm. He has some nice ass hair. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like they're both like. I mean, Cleopatra is real. Hercules is like considered like a you know. Like yeah, he's, a, he's mythological. But like, I mean, that's like pretty hot. That's a hot ass couple. She it got is. the hair wrap mm. thing. You know what I mean? The We're combining the pantheons. You see what I'm saying? Egyptian gods. It just looks. It gods, looks yeah. good. From the outside, it looks good. From the inside, it's right. I think they should be together. Impressing mm. the parents for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I 100%. mean? Hundred percent. Like that's how you're supposed to do. It. Wow, okay. Yep. Um, okay, well, if you're really looking for a power couple <laughs> and someone of royal blood, who better than Aragorn, king of Gondor? <laughs> wow. Okay, I mean, <laughs> one of the most royal and humble men. What a power couple indeed. Could you imagine them mm. just pairing up and ruling Middle Earth and Normal Earth mm. together? I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's I, I'm freaking loving, Aragorn. I'm loving good in a fight. Good in a fight. <laughs> good in a good fight. fight. And one thirty-second elf on his father's side. Wow. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just one of the most powerful and capable men in all of Middle Earth. And, okay. And you know. I mean, not more powerful than Hercules. What a what a all power right. couple indeed. Y'all right. want to talk about powerful men I wish in the we modern would. age? Yeah. Let me introduce to you the king of Halloween. Jack Skellington. Oh no. <laughs> <the> wow. <laughs> it's my prompt versus what I actually right. want. Exactly. Go on. But hear me out. He's the icon of hot topic clothing. <laughs> Cleopatra, icon of ancient Egypt. They both have clearly made strides in their individual respective industries. So we should uh, <laughs> definitely pair these two up and uh, Get him to bang. God, that's good. In front of us. The fact that you just pulled that. <laughs> not <laughs> industries. <laughs> like, that was good. Uh, well, like they're good. In, they're good in their. They're good in their um, fields. <laughs> At whatever they do. Right. <laughs> I work in um, sand. <laughs> sand development. No kingdom may last oh, forever. God. Uh oh. So what do you do when your kingdom falls? It's scarred. I present flow. Weirdly <laughs> sincere, enthusiastic, and upbeat cashier, always looking out for the best deals for the progressive insurance. <laughs> I hate you! Cleopatra <laughs> and Flo, she is insuring that no, Egypt has a long-lasting no, empire you way faster than Egypt. You're yes, not you seeing it, Damien. Yes, you do, because yeah. Cleopatra's Damien. walking, and no. Flo always wears like this no white way. and blue, and Cleopatra's uh -huh. all about these warm colors, uh -huh. and yeah. her walking down, no it's way, a match bro. made in heaven. It's the heaven and are together now. Oh my God. Oh yeah. my God. I asked for power couple, and I'm gonna go based off of that because I, I have huge reasons to love all of these, especially yeah. like nerdy reasons. I will say that this ensures that Cleopatra's power stays strong. It doesn't, it doesn't grow it. Yeah. It keeps it as it is, well, as it is at best. Highest paid spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh yeah, no, she made bank. Good for her. Is made um, is, is made bank. <laughs> I mean, God. Oh it flows. It's, it's all, it flows. Oh. It's, it's the best any groundling can hope for. Um, Jack Skellington is so good because it is, I can only imagine like ancient Egypt in Halloween style. Like I would personally love that. I is think it you power would. couple? Jack has tried to move kingdoms before. It didn't quite work out. He found himself, <laughs> doesn't quite do it. Aragorn, you did say Middle Earth and regular Earth, but what about the under earth, the underworld, Hercules. And also Aragorn is way older than you think. Cleopatra is pretty damn young. I think we have to go with Hercules. We're merging the Egyptian gods and the Greek gods. Yes. We're making it happen. That is a power couple if I've ever seen. All right, it's fine, I like so it. So strong. Everybody knows her. It's America's sweetheart. It's Miss Piggy. 
Oh, oh bitch. Okay. 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 Straight up Miss Piggy. <laughs> but like, who is gonna keep Miss Piggy? Like, who's gonna hold her down? Right. Who's gonna keep her calm? Cause yeah. she stay stressed out. Yeah. Like oh. Kermit can't even keep her together. Oh, so you're looking for exactly. someone that's like gonna? Yeah. She's going. She's sort of going off and like destroying yeah, things. Yeah. Who like gonna... makes her like melt? You know I what I mean? See. Who's like, oh, like just because I look into your eyes, like you just have that thing. You know? All right, I got it. You got it. Okay, I've let's got start it. with you. All right, who is gonna shock Miss Piggy more than Jaws? <gasps> Jaws. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't there be he a little bit her of a up all right. <laughs> race? She, listen, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be doing his thing, and Miss Piggy is gonna be on the sidelines cheering him on. She's gonna be like, "Oh my God, yeah, that's my man." Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> That's my woman. <laughs> is Jaws a woman? Who cares? That's my Jaws. Jaws 4, the where shark. they reveal the gender of Jaws. <laughs> <Our shark. laughs> they There's... pop a balloon and it's pink, and everyone goes, oh, right. yeah, On the card, it does say female. Good call. Didn't even catch that. So, even better then. She's going to okay. be watching her woman out there, and she's going to be like, Wow, I'm not going anywhere. I feel that. Okay. Really good. Really good. All right. You who's ready? Who's next? <laughs> this piggy is a diva. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. She okay. is a star. Mm hmm. She needs someone that she's not gonna be worried about at a party, that's like not gonna take her thunder, mm -hmm. but is just a much as much of a presence. Mm. I think she needs Batman. <laughs> wow. And while he's off wow. doing his shit, she can do, go do her shows. She doesn't need to take care of him. He's got his own shit to save. And then mm -hmm. when they come home, bang that shit out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like I'm done saving the city. I saved Gotham. Right. And she got he got money bags. Yeah. Cause she's gonna wanna that wardrobe, she can provide for herself, but she doesn't want to always provide for herself. Absolutely right? she wants not. To be, she wants yeah. to be treated. She wants, she wants to, to be, be gifted. wined and dined. She deserves to be yeah, wined and dined. Yeah, wined and dined, for sure. I feel yeah. that, I feel that. Maybe I'm gonna not. go for it. Okay, All right. what do you got for me? All right, Keith, mm -hmm. so Miss Piggy, very strong, mm -hmm. very strong-willed, but also very physically strong. She's always like, hi -ya! And like, <laughs> that's so wow. f***ing true. Good. And, uh, he sounds just like her. Yeah, that is great. Like, come have Kermy, I I don't know. I um, so what we need is someone that is sort of her type, but can also be strong enough to do what you're asking here. Mm -hmm. I present to you Andre the Giant. <laughs> now, wow. Andre the Giant is French, and some people refer to French people, there's a word, for, uh, frogs. She's dated frogs in the past, so that works, but he's much oh, bigger. Yeah. And anytime yeah. she's like, you can't talk to me like that. He'll be like, okay, time to go, and then he'll just walk away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or he'll just be her muscle in the room and also like support her quietly from behind. Mm. And if she's hungry, he'll be like, anybody want to clean up? And she does mm -hmm. want to clean up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, if Miss Piggy needs someone strong who's gonna hold her down while letting her be the star of the show. Yeah, who's gonna shut her up? Who better than Frank? Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> oh. Hey. Okay, because here's the thing about him is that he's beefy, he's big, mm -hmm. um, and you know, he has a heart of gold, and he's made up of so many parts that you know, he understands Miss Piggy, mm -hmm. but he also understands when <laughs> when she needs to be told, hey, Miss Piggy, maybe maybe we take a breather really quick, maybe we step outside. He does it the right mm -hmm. way. He does it the right way, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and he's also, you know, what I've heard, Great in the in in the sack. Oh wow! Great in wow. the sack. And you know, Miss yeah. P likes to be down. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like. And I feel Miss like Piggy... he's got interchangeable parts. <laughs> I feel like Miss Piggy needs up. to actually raise Stick her up. voice, and I think uh, I think Jaws, the only woman uh, representing. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think Miss Piggy would like a woman. Uh uh. <laughs> Arasha, he gon' she gon' eat Miss Piggy. That's the she thing. gonna eat her. No, yeah. no, she a shark. She <laughs> no, she knows the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also, ba Batman is not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is not vegan. Batman would do it. I thought you guys all did a great job. Um, I like Jaws shutting her down, but Jaws would shut her completely up. There would be no more Miss Piggy, like Chance mm. said. It was um, a three pointer anyway. Who was yours again? No, that doesn't bode well for Art. me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, skip it over him. Skip it over. Uh, was, he forgot oh. you too, so I'm gonna have Ew. to choose you. What? Let's what? go. Yeah, yeah, because because I, bias. And this, is, this is my reasons why. These are my reasons why. Because he does it the right way. He's mm -hmm. not trying to eat her. Yeah. He's yeah. not trying to He's like gentle. just Yeah, you gotta be gentle with yeah. Miss Piggy. The the, the, the way to a woman's heart is not being an asshole. Yes. It's to being gentle. 
And I feel like Miss Piggy oh wouldn't even God. know that Batman is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't give She's a like, fuck. Like, oh, you're back. <laughs> you just missed him. You went to the bathroom again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is a, this is a big one um, because this is someone who I'm gonna need to uh, wife this person up or Hello. husband this person up, <laughs> and then secretly murder them and take all their money. <laughs> Salt burn. Smaug the Terrible. <laughs> oh, from the oh, Hobbit. Oh, I use I don't know what that is. Smaug the Terrible from the Hobbit is a, a oh, fire breathing worm. dragon okay. uh, worm from, from the north, and he has hordes of money in the Lonely Mountain. Um, so you have to schmooze Smaug, mm -hmm. husband him up, and then murder him and take his money. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'm going to go for Godzilla. Wow! Godzilla, I, just, I feel like that's wow. a whole power couple. Through Ooh. and through. Wow. Talk about um, thick thighs. Just, just the big, thick thighs. Yeah. Big booty. Big. Do you think, okay, does uh, Godzilla blow fire? Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's like, beam. Like, and then there's yeah, yeah, like a beam. Yeah, yeah. Laser beam so guys. like, I feel like it works out. That's how they kiss, that's how mm -hmm. they make love. You yeah. know what I mean? I Back think that's forth. cool. It just yeah. all makes sense to me. Like who better? I, I would love to hear these guys' cards, but yeah. I truly just don't think there'll be a better match. I, I, I will say this, if <laughs> I, I'm down to go. Godzilla's all about, you know, teaching humanity the lesson for their hubris. I don't know how much they'd want to murder Smaug. Mm. Now, who is, has no problem with uh, creatures murdering other creatures. Uh, we got Professor Oak here. The wow. fourth wow. researcher yeah. specializing in Pokemon behavioral science, distributes Pokemon to new trainers and traveled through time once. Mm. Well, okay. we'll get into that part <laughs> later, but it's part of the Celebi arc, I think. Yeah. So anyway, um, Smaug, <laughs> what would you say? Breathes fire and yeah. uh, smoke? So we're talking Talking like a poison and fire type. <laughs> yeah. All Professor Oak needs to do is unleash one like I don't know ground water. We're talking yeah. like a, I think that'd be like a mud kip <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah oh whiskash for sure yeah. easy so like that's all he needs to do and then immediate type advantage there yeah and until he also has um, he's very good at sex yeah what? that's awesome <laughs> since when and the wealth is gonna go to you know Pokemon research which I think is, I think is very valuable okay I got one <laughs> I'll go okay <laughs> <laughs> You should finish. You yeah, you should go, now. Chance. You should go. Okay, you should go. so I actually listened to the prompt, and it's who's gonna who's gonna. Smaug is uh, inquisitive. He likes to play with his food. He doesn't just eat his food. He talks to them. Very he true. likes to push the boundaries as far as he can until it's time mm. to finally eat. He's bored. He's old. Yeah. He wants something mm -hmm. interesting. That's Benedict Cumberbund, right? But it's who's gonna. It's who's gonna not only woo him, but who's gonna kill him and then take his money? Godzilla's not taking no money. Godzilla don't care about money, he cares about the balance of the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Professor Oak ain't gonna take his money. <laughs> Professor Oak is too lawful good. He's not taking no money. Mm -hmm. You know who's taking the money? Ooh. Catwoman. Wow. Oh. She's, uh, what's her wow. name, what's her name? Uh, Selena Kyle. Yeah. Selena Kyle's gonna go up on in there. She already knows the lay of land. She already knows what jewel she wants. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. already knows the heart of the mountain is right up in there in that cave. Mm -hmm. She's gonna wine and dine him. She's gonna get him. She's gonna purr all up on his nails and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he's asleep, she gonna slit that throat or something or sneak into his booty hole and <laughs> or And then she gonna take her jewels. And she Animate it. <laughs> Animate it. What's his name? Smog. Smog. The terrible. Smog. It's not Smog. 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 He needs a powerful woman. You are right. You are right. And there is there is a powerful woman whom we all know of. Okay. In fact, her name is Morticia Adams. Oh, wow. oh my God. Statuesque goth matriarch cuts the head off roses and loves mm -hmm. the dead. Mm -hmm. So she is quickly going to whip this uh, man's head round. Okay. She is going to Man. grab him. <laughs> Uh, the worm. Uh, Get it yeah. together. <laughs> the worm. And then, yeah. and then she's gonna cut his head off. And then she's gonna love it and she's gonna rob from him. Wow. And and she <laughs> is gonna do it all without a smile on her face. Okay, well, I That's mean, good. there's good. a lot to consider here. I think <laughs> that one of the big parts of this was the seduction part. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where Professor Oak and Godzilla are really lacking in yeah. the seduction of Smaug. Godzilla is sexy. Um, no. And now, oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. The thick, the thick Morticia, guys are there. Now, okay. Morticia is sexy and seductive. Mm -hmm. However, yep. I don't think Morticia would want to kill Smaug. I think that she would want to stay mm, with him true. and be an evil couple. No, this is true. This is and true. But I don't have any points. Here's the thing. <laughs> cat, cat woman. Cat, cat woman, I have to go with because she's Whoa! seductive. 
and she will backstab Smaug, and she will take all of the money, oh, yeah, and it just hits true. every part of the prompt. That's so I, true. I have to go with Catwoman. That woman was really true. good. I didn't yeah. see that one coming. That was very that good. Was just good. like Catwoman. It was, very... right, let's get a point check. Oh, okay. we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have six points. Woo! I have four points. Woo! I I made the game. That's true. So. That's true. I have uh, I have four points, <laughs> and I got five points. Yeah. Oh, guys. Wow. Hey, it's That's anybody's right. game. Close, close right. Close. Right. Close. Right. Close. Right. Yeah. Really close. Close. Albus Dumbledore. Who is that? Ooh. Wow. Oh, I'm feeling good uh, about this one. <laughs> the, he is, is that uh, Harry Potter? Harry yep. Potter. Yeah, I still ain't watched that, but I think I live in a Dumbledore house. Somebody told me. Oh. Yeah. I ain't never seen it. Your house is Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm Dumbledore for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Dumbledore, he's the head of the school. Okay. He's like the most powerful wizard. Oh, wow. And what does Dumbledore need? And get this, Dumbledore. he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> he's blind. <laughs> okay. okay. So he's just looking for anybody? He's looking for anyone. Category is gay. <laughs> when you say you're looking for gay, would you just count queer relationship in general? Like, what if someone's- Yes. What if someone is gen uh, <laughs> agender? A what? A gender, like no gender, <laughs> genderless. It can be a girl too, and it can still be gay. <laughs> Category okay. is gay. <laughs> like Mrs. Right. Piggy would be an absolute <laughs> yeah. killer yeah. card right there. For sure. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Well, Send it. That yeah. wins. Yep. 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 Well, honestly, Catwoman too. I'm like, you know Catwoman what? And Albus okay. Dumbledore. Right. I'm, I'm young. gonna start this okay. out. No, no, you, no, you go. go. No, you go. go. Okay. No, you well, go. I'm gonna go, go and I'm gonna just say Bigfoot. I heard Bigfoot was gay. I heard, like, we don't know. <laughs> I heard that Bigfoot was gay. We okay. trying to find him still, but like I did hear through the grapevine, he liked dudes. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Hey. Oh, no, that's the only thing he says about the all. part. I heard he's gay. I heard he's gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. So all right, I'll go as well. Okay. Because I also don't have much to say. I think the card speaks for itself. I'm putting down Virginia Woolf. Wow! <laughs> killer! That's killer. That's right. Wow. That's really mm. good, Arasha. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got one. Let's ride. Okay. Margaret Thatcher. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> what the heck um, is even that? No, this is like a pre, you know. <laughs> chill daddy. Yeah. What chill. is that? It's about as gay as it gets. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. It's just that? like a, you know, it's Margaret Thatcher. Not much else to say. I mean, she's, gonna, she's also British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is she? <laughs> and gay. <laughs> and gay. Hey, <laughs> what? This is the round where you just put the card down. Yeah. <laughs> here yeah. we go. Okay, you know what, Chance? Here we go. You asked for gay. What's gayer than <laughs> musical theater, according to everyone I went to high school with while I did musical theater? And we've got Jean Valjean. Wow. And wow. He's got, it says bread thief, oh, and what yeah. is <laughs> cake if not a type of bread? And he's all caked up and ready for Albus and whatever he needs. Wow. That's gay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> One gay <game> more. <laughs> nice. Thank you. No way. Pretty good. No way. Pretty good. Yeah. I heard Bigfoot. Was gay. I heard Bigfoot. Uh, I did also hear Bug. that. Who was afraid of Virginia Woolf? Yeah, Virginia Woolf. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. That's good. Honestly, after Bigfoot and Virginia Woolf, I kind of had to phone it in. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I didn't really feel good about That's it. That's all right. That's all right. Oh. All right. I got a good one for you guys. I would like you to find a partner for the biggest diva that there is. Oh. Madonna. Wow. Oh. The material girl. Wow. Now, Madonna, here's here's what's uh here's what's going to be fun about this round though. Madonna's not looking for a, uh, a long-term partner. Mm -hmm. Madonna is looking for somebody to have fun with yeah. for one night and one night only. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. So, wow. who are we meeting at the bar? I'm just going to start us off if that's okay. Please do. Um, Madonna has been known to like black meat. You know what I mean? Okay. And the ladies love Cool J, so I'm gonna say LL Cool J. For one night only, you get a night with LL Cool J. <laughs> he needs love. <laughs> Look, he needs love, and it probably did happen. Like, I know she was with Big Daddy Kane like, for a bit. Someone's got a Dennis Rodman card. Same age bracket, it makes sense. She like black meat. Go ahead, Madonna. Uh, Madonna's been going through a lot of health shit lately, so she needs somebody a little older. LL Cool J is still in shape, though, so he's gonna give her that boom, boom, pa pow, pow, you know, real well, good. Oh, all right. Yeah. I think she'd like and that. he's gonna leave because he has a wife and a family. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's what Madonna wants. That's true. She does not want 
want you to stay at her house. Madonna no. wants her mm -hmm. own space. Yeah. And who better to give? He had his own. He got his own mansion. Okay, I'll consider <laughs> I'm that. Pulling this shit out. Of <laughs> also, he can fly. I heard. He can defy gravity. <laughs> but look, the ladies love him, and Madonna just wanted, you know, love for a night. Okay, all right, all right. I remember that. Ladies yeah. love him. Okay. I mean, if Madonna's looking for a one night roll in the hay, then who better than the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz? Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. He's Good. dumb as rocks, and he's ready to. F <laughs> so he's so he's, so he's just That's available. Good. He's available. <laughs> he is That's a good. straw powered <laughs> machine. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> Zero thoughts. Yeah, sure. ah. Just have sex. That was yeah. what the movie was pretty much all about. <laughs> Absolutely. Three. That's that's. I never ended up much, seeing Wicked. You know, in that haystack roll. is not a needle. Let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also Michael in the Wiz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just dancing right. through life to Madonna songs. <gasps> okay, I'll think about the Scarecrow. One night only. One night only. The best <laughs> of your life. Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> He gon' do some freaky shit with them snakes. He gon' be oozing in places you didn't know you could ooze. He gon' be uh, appearing and being all small and shit and then being all big and shit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if she started singing, I feel like he would join in. Like, I feel like uh -huh. it would be like a little musical number. Like, he could do some magic. <laughs> okay, I need one more pitch for my girl. Um, all right, so you said we need a one night stand, right? And everybody here has pitched some awesome options. You know, I get uh, truly like, you know, hey, straw powered f machine, like I get that. Yeah. What we need <laughs> is a one night stand that is comfortable. We need athletic. We need, you know, st we need someone strong that's gonna just be physically warm. I don't know about Scarecrow for that. Um, and you need someone that's guaranteed to only be in your life for one night. You don't want the hangers on. They don't, you want the like next morning text of like, so what actually is this? Joan of of Arc. Joan of Arc is a lady knight known for her brash leadership during the Hundred Years' War. Very athletic, very powerful, knows what she's doing, um, but is guaranteed not to text you back later on account of, spoiler alert, she gets burned, burned at alive. the stake oh, wow. for being a proclaimed That's witch. Crazy. And then later the church was like, oh, actually, no, she wasn't. We are sorry. Yeah. But like, uh, you're not going to hear great. from her again. That's great. Mm. Wow. That's really good. But I, I truly don't think it's better than LL Cool J because he's not coming back because ladies love him. You know what I mean? Right. Ladies love ladies Cool fans. James. So that he he has other houses to go to. Mm. What? You know <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what makes the most sense to me? I can see my girl Madonna and I can see her saying Beetlejuice three times in bed. What? Oh. Oh. What? Wow. Oh, no. Yelling that's it, the probably. One, that's Woo! the one. Uh, Woo! That is brutal. Nice. All right, Chance, it's you. Let's go. Okay, for this one, uh, you only get, you only get uh, one of the points, but I want uh, all the Golden Girls. Can Not I just that? one person but, to oh, pleasure yeah. all so four many. of them. Yeah, yeah. One person to one. all four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, give me. Okay, yeah. give me one person who's gonna pleasure all four of the Golden Girls. Somebody get Godzilla back. <laughs> all right, I got yeah. one. Okay, here we go. Who better okay. than a guy who never needs to regenerate his stamina? He can go all night long, Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh wow. shit. He can wow. literally go forever. Yeah. He's jacked. Okay, he yeah. knows how to pleasure a woman. Yeah. He's not gonna stick, he's he's just gonna look all of them in the eye and be like, I'm gonna do whatever you need me to do. To yeah. You. He's a hero, okay? And he can go all night long. Yeah. Who better okay. to pleasure all four of these women okay. than someone who doesn't need to worry about their stamina and is in fact older than all of them? Here we go. I uh -huh. give you Angel wow. of Buffy the Vampire wow. Slayer wow. fame. Wow. Um, literally verbatim copying what Trevor said, but this time it's from Buffy. Yeah. Wow. It's That's, tough. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That's great. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to copy and paste what they said again, but I'm taking someone from Mortal Kombat. Combat. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm bringing Sub Zero. Ooh. Oh my God. You need, you need a That's ninja. Cold. You need a ninja <laughs> assassin in there. You need a really cool dude because you need somebody who all the Golden Girls are gonna be thinking that they're really cool. <laughs> Up awful. top. That was awesome. <laughs> That was Nick canonical that all oh. the Golden Girls are Dom. She said, so it works. you're a nerd, I got you, bitch. You're gonna think they're really cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Gandhi. 
<laughs> wow. Oh, he did it. Oh, Gandhi is a man, you know. <laughs> oh, no. I guess there's also historical figures. Yeah, like, Gandhi is the man. I feel like someone like Gandhi can, like, control that whole situation. Because for people to take care of is, like, it takes a lot, and you have to have wow. inner peace. You have to be a wow. very peaceful person <laughs> in order to, like, have four different women. And then they all know of each other too. You know, you have to have a certain level of peace. And I feel like Gandhi's the guy to do it. He's not gonna be, it's not gonna be messy. It's gonna be filled with love. <laughs> Wolverine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. All right, this is someone who's pretty hard to please, who's got, you know, a pretty insane track record of exes and past lovers. Um, and it's someone that, you know, is kind of high maintenance and needs a lot from a, a partner. This is Bella Swan. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. She's okay. like very emo in a movie, She's right? super emo. She's yeah. Super emo. Really like detached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay, so I feel like I have a cart because I'm gonna just start us off with Kesha. If wow! She, oh, Kesha's on there? Wow. wow! I got Kesha. Is she a historical figure on there? I mean... She, she should be. <laughs> she brush her they teeth with Jack Daniels. That's pretty iconic. Oh, hell yes! <laughs> I feel like with um, Bella Swan's uh, personality, okay. I feel like somebody like Kesha brings her out of her element. Kesha's a party girl, you know what okay. I mean? She brushes her, her teeth with Jack Daniels, you know, Jack yeah. Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just feel like with, you know, um, Bella Swan being so reserved and to herself and like, you know, all of that just emo, I feel like she needs like a fun party person like Kesha. Who better to bring you out than Kesha? Kesha bring everybody outside. I literally talked about her yesterday. Really? Yeah. See? Wow, <laughs> a lot of people. Dance. <laughs> a lot of blah, 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 blah really happening about Kesha, am I right? Yeah. Yo, Get it? Uh, that's good. Zip your lip like a padlock. Yeah, that's Thank you. Good. Yeah. Good. Back with the jacket. No, I, I truly believe, like, um, like she, well, Bella Swan, I, she doesn't like to dance, but Kesha gets her to dance. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give you another one, Trevor. Um, you see, you're right, Bella has, she has experimented with some pretty crazy people. I mean, yeah. vampires, <laughs> werewolves, like, the only logical you know, level up is a Greek god. Mm. Okay. So I yeah, pitch yeah. you Zeus. Wow. Uh, and it is wow. it is to be known that Zeus actually liked turning into swans. Okay. True. Very interesting. Is that true? Yeah. It is true. It's, wow. It says That's it on the really card, good. so we're not gonna challenge. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn, I didn't know that though. Yeah, me neither. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Very fun. Yeah, and he's Whoa, kinky. I didn't know that. Um, okay, so like I'm getting the logic here, Arasha. You and I are of the same mind. You mm. know, we start with the first book, it's all more about vampires. Second book is a little bit more about werewolves. But then we just go back to vampires? No, 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 no. We gotta build. I think I think we gotta build, we gotta grow. What's next in that logic, if not goblins? Oh. The Goblin King from the Labyrinth, a.k.a. David Bowie. <laughs> um, but not David Bowie, because it's the Goblin King. So it's another wow. kind of mythological creature. How much do you like that? Because I also have another option. I <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Are you so impressed? I'd love to hear both. Okay, Honestly. great. Well, tell you what, who's a, who's a damn power couple is the Mary Sues from two different books, Katniss Everdeen. Wow. Oh. Hunger Games versus oh Twilight. No, God. no, no, bring them together. Cool. She's got a bow, she volunteers as tribute. Wow. <laughs> she can murder a person. Okay. Yeah, wow. Like nothing. That's good. Okay. No more goblins. I believe in both of these, you choose. Boom, okay. Oh, yeah. Who does Bella Swan need? She needs someone who's gonna make a man out of her. And Kristen, famously gay, she needs Mulan. <laughs> wow! They gonna fight it out. Yeah. They gonna do it. They gonna do some freaky role play shit. Oh Let them God. live. Let them thrive. Yeah. Can I double down on you? <laughs> yeah, you may. <laughs> someone who can actually nice. finally see themselves in the mirror. She's not used to that. Wow. That. Wow. So who is that girl? Reflection. It's Kristen Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. That's I good. think That's I good. think that, you know, I love the idea of Bella Swan finally saying, you know what? Frick these little boys, mm. these these werewolves, these vampires, I'm gonna go find me a girl boss. Yeah. yeah. And I really, really love that. And good. it's really hard to say between yeah. Katniss and, and Mulan, who is a bigger girl boss, but I mean Mulan kind of saved all of China. Way higher body count. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Mulan. Damn! Girl yeah. boss. That's definitely Power game. Couple. That's nice. definitely yeah. game. Well, That's though. gotta oh, be did game. you win? Yeah. Kids yeah. won! Yeah. Woo! Nice. Wow. The game has
has come to an end and Chance is our winner. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see us play again, maybe with some different people or maybe a different category of this game, if that exists, which I should know because I made this game, um, we'll find out and we will film again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.